I just didn't want to put my family's life on the line. Mm, so you were worried about him coming to get you? Yeah, like everybody else is. Mm. Wow. Jay Z was the last person to see Big L alive. Wait, so this Big L person is not living on this earth no more. He's been dead for years. Miss Jaguar Wright is once again the center of attention as people are finally recognizing her for speaking truth to power in the music industry. And she's not showing any signs of slowing down. She's back in the spotlight, revealing shocking details about how Jay-Z purportedly attempted to intimidate her by threatening her family. Jay's has been maintaining a low profile since his involvement in the Diddy scandal, seemingly hoping that we'll overlook his long-standing close relationship with Diddy. The whole mantra, can't stop, won't stop, is like, you gotta be relentless. You gotta have a bit of crazy. You can't take no for an answer. You gotta make it happen. He embodies that. But wait, Jagor isn't letting this go unnoticed. She's calling out Jay-Z, alleging that he's just as dubious, if not more so than Diddy. Rumors suggest Jay's has his own questionable tactics, including rumored intimidation methods and dubious ways of making people disappear. According to Jaguar, there was a time when she genuinely feared for her family after revealing certain things about Jay's that he supposedly went to great lengths to keep hidden from the public eye. But did Jay's really attempt to erase Jaguar from the music scene? And why hasn't he pursued legal action against her for defamation? not even issuing a cease and desist. It's time to unpack this entire situation. So let's delve deeper into it. I'm gonna tell everybody about Big L, Sean. Big L? I would just rather do it on the stand, Sean. Mm. Please sue me. I wanna go to court. In okay, the midst so of Diddy's legal turmoil, attention shifts to his longtime associate, Jay Z who's faced his own share of disturbing allegations. Despite this, few have openly challenged him, possibly due to fear or his wife Bianca's influential image. However, one voice consistently confronting Jay's is Jaguar Wright. Some dismiss her as a conspiracy theorist, but her firsthand experiences, including working with Jay-Z and dating rapper Big L, lend credence to her claims. The mysterious death of Big L followed by other untimely deaths in Jay's circle, raises questions about his rise to fame. Jaguar suggests Jay-Z eliminated competition to ascend in the industry. Notably, Jay's alleged involvement with R. Kelly and his handling of the situation further tarnish his image. Jaguar's bold challenge for Jay-Z to sue her for defamation underscores her confidence in exposing the truth. This narrative sheds light on the complex dynamics within the music industry, where power and influence often overshadow accountability. Jaguar's courage to speak out against industry giants, like Jay's who challenges the status quo, forcing a critical examination of the entertainment world's darker realities. I saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest For in those peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. That dopest. was the One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay-Z on. Without question. And then Big L died and then the next However, things took a serious turn when Jaguar mentioned something that evidently struck a nerve with Jay-Z allegedly. He attempted to intimidate Jaguar and her family, sending a clear message that she should refrain from discussing a specific topic. Jay's past association with a convicted offender, R. Kelly. To provide context, rumors suggest that Jay's was allegedly involved with several young women in the industry including names like Foxy Brown, Alia, and Tara Marie. Additionally, there are reports that Jay-Z crossed paths with Beyonce when she was just 16, while he was considerably older. Beyonce later claimed that she didn't start dating him until she turned 18. However, an interesting revelation came to light when Jay-Z mentioned to Charlie Rose in 2017 that he had met Beyonce 10 years prior. 
It's a matter of simple arithmetic to discern the implications of this discrepancy. How long, how long, however long she's been recording, that's when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five years ago? Was it? I met her 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but did you say to yourself at that time, wow? I look, I see that she's that's a fantastic uh, talent. That, was that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Now, regarding R. Kelly, there's an additional layer of speculation circulating. Some individuals are suggesting that Jason might have played a role in Aliyah's tragic demise. Why? Well, according to rumors, Aliyah rejected Jay Z, favoring Dane Dash instead. Allegedly, this rejection sparked jealousy in Jay Z. For those who may not be familiar, R. Kelly infamously illegally married the young Aliyah using a fake ID. Very close, he's my best friend. Yeah, cool. Now, who found him in the whole lot? Um, I found Leah. As a matter of fact, Barry Hankerson, my manager, who's her uncle, uh, told me to go up to Detroit and hear her sing. Once I got up to Detroit, I didn't have to hear her sing because she was glowing. According to Dane Dash, even after Jay-Z learned about R. Kelly's actions regarding Aaliyah, he continued to stand by him. They even released a joint album titled The Best of Both Worlds the same year Aaliyah tragically died in a plane crash in the Bahamas. Here's another twist. That same year, Jay-Z publicly confirmed Beyonce as his girlfriend, solidifying their relationship. Seeing Jay-Z's refusal to sever ties with R. Kelly, despite the harm he inflicted on Aaliyah, Dame Dash began to question Jay's moral compass. Came out, you know, the tapes came out, so karmically it, was, it couldn't breathe. It already destroyed, but then years later they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of but both. it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens, but the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not fucking with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. Right. So to me, Rockefeller was the <clears throat> funk, it was over. Word. I couldn't fuck with it. It was something that to me was just like, not to say unforgivable, but un I couldn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? And then I didn't understand how people didn't, un I, I thought, well, then the people aren't gonna have that. But nobody said nothing. Coincidence or not, the year Aaliyah passed away, Bianca's solo career skyrocketed. Jaguar Wright even hinted that Jason might have played a role in Aaliyah's tragic demise possibly as a means to pave the way for Beyonce to ascend to the top as the reigning princess of R&B, especially after Alia chose Dane Dash over him. Saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York, but he didn't show up as Jay-Z, he didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest for in those peace. Of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. That dopest. was the One that. of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Yeah, of course. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. And then. Jaguar also illuminated another intriguing aspect. With Big L no longer in the picture, Jay Z strategically aligned himself with industry heavyweights notably collaborating with none other than the influential Diddy on various musical endeavors. This shift marked a significant move in Jay-Z's career trajectory, solidifying his presence among the elite echelons of the music industry. You know, songs with Biggie and building a working, you know, camaraderie with Honeycombs and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And um, why do you give him the honeycombs? Why, why do you give him honeycombs? Because he smacks so sweet. That fucking side of my. <laughs> anyway. Um, but that's, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Jaguar threw yet another curveball by implying that Jay's steadfast backing of R. Kelly could stem from the suspicion that Jay himself might be entangled in similar controversial actions. This provocative insinuation opens up a whole new dimension of speculation surrounding Jay's associations and behavior in the music industry. I always heard like you had some kind of C and D where you couldn't talk about Jay Z, but I never signed no paperwork. Okay, you never signed no paperwork. 
I just didn't want to put my family's life on the line. Mm, so you were worried about him coming to get you? Yeah, like everybody else is. Mm, because I've seen a lot of F Rock Nation on your page and stuff like yeah, that. So now you're more vocal. What was the far. turning point? It went too far. Mm. Sean Combs and Sean Carter have been working together for the better part of 25 years to find a way to take over full control of the entertainment industry. They have been slumping and sidelining relevant hip-hop communities for decades so that they can have control. Now they done killed Jacqueline Avon and they done picked up old Clarence Avon and now they running around acting like they, they remind me of fucking Macaulay Culkin and fucking the whole home alone. Mm. That's what these niggas is acting like out here. When news of R. Kelly's appalling crime surfaced, Rumors circulated that Jay's PR team went into overdrive, working tirelessly to eradicate any traces of their once publicized friendship. It's striking how rarely people discuss Jay's joint album, The Best of Both Worlds. Nowadays, it's almost as if it never existed. Allegedly, Jay-Z was eager to sweep that chapter under the rug. However, according to Jaguar, his actions didn't stop there. She hinted that Jay's attempted to intimidate her and her family for bringing up his connection to R. Kelly. Jaguar confessed that she was genuinely fearful for the safety of her loved ones. Let, I'm gonna make it easy, sue me. Yes. I wanna be sued. Her. <laughs> I wanna be sued. Jack, why do you wanna be sued? Because I wanna have to go to court. Because well, if I, I go to that. court, if I go to court, I gotta swear on the Bible to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I believe in the God that they say that it's all about, so I'm not gonna lie. Mm. And then I get to say all of those things that I haven't said on court record in front of a judge, which could open up other investigations into other things, which is why y'all niggas want me killed. Sue me, please. Nevertheless, Jaguar didn't stop there. She went on to directly challenge Jay-Z daring him to pursue legal action for defamation of character. She boldly asserted that she would relish the opportunity to take the stand and divulge everything she knows about Sean Carter, unapologetically challenging the rapper to confront the allegations head on. This defiant stance from Jaguar adds yet another layer of intensity to the already fraught situation between her and Jay-Z's. 